Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gianna and I basically just take you along throughout my life. <laughs> from the title of today's video you guys are coming book shopping with me and i am so excited to film this video because i haven't went book shopping in a while yes i know that's kind of crazy to think about but i haven't gone in a while so i thought it was fitting that today i get to go book shopping also my nail broke so don't mind that i was really sad but i'm getting them done before school so that will be good but yeah, so I'm just gonna bring you guys with me and we're gonna go buy some books. And then after when I come back, I will give you guys a haul of all the books that I got. <coughs> this is just gonna be a little fun little vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end to see all the books that I got. Without further ado, let's go into Indigo. Let's go. <laughs> Take my chance to lie, drop. Mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us. Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. Oh, no dud, I'm not thinking. Me and you, I guess it's over. It was a rainbow, but we're sinking. Lost my you. I might come running back when our hearts get back on track. not a very successful book shopping trip but it's whatever okay guys we made it back from book shopping honestly they had like none of the books i was looking for so like i was so disappointed <sighs> but i made do with what was there and there was a lot of books that i had in mind so i was like okay let's move on to the next one so i ended up getting some books that i wanted i mean not my first choices but whatever anyways so i'm gonna give you guys a haul People are staring at me. I got three books in total. Actually, these are for an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna read you guys like the backs of them because I don't know too much about them. <laughs> First one I got was Milk and Honey. I've actually been wanting to read this for so long. It's been on my TBR forever. I'm not a poetry reader at all. Like, I don't think I've read a poetry book, to be honest with you. When I saw this book recommended to me, I knew I had to put it on my TBR, and I finally decided to go get it. It's basically just a series of poems and stuff like that, but I've heard a lot of good things about the book. On the back, it says, this is the journey of surviving through poetry. This is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, the healing. It's a poem from the author. I'm really excited for this book. The next book I got was Set on You by Amy Lee. I've seen this book everywhere. Literally when I tell you I've seen it everywhere, I've seen it at Walmart, I've seen it at Shoppers, I've seen it Indigo. I've literally seen this book everywhere so I knew I had to get it plus it deals with fitness it's like a fitness romance I personally love working out and everything like fitness related so I knew I had to pick up this book but it's kind of thick to be honest and I don't really read romance what it says on the back is curvy fitness influencer Crystal Chen built her career by shattering gym stereotypes and mostly ignoring the trolls after her recent breakup she has little stamina left for men instead finding solace in the gym her place of power and positivity. Enter firefighter Scott Ritchie, the smug new gym patron who routinely steals her favorite squat rack. Sparks fly as these ultra competitive foes battle for gym domination. But after a series of escalating jabs, the last thing they expect is to run into each other at their grandparents' engagement party. In the lead up to their grandparents' wedding, Crystal discovers there's a soft heart under Scott's muscled interior. Bonding over family fitness and cheesy pickup lines, they just might have found their, their swole mates. But when a photo of them goes viral, savage internet trolls put their budding relationship to the ultimate test of strength. So I'm really excited to read this book. It sounds really interesting, so hopefully it doesn't let me down. And the final book I got was Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. 
<sighs> I finally got my hands on this book. I kept telling myself, oh, this time I go to the bookstore, I'm gonna go get this book. Oh no, this time I'm gonna get this book. But guess what? I finally picked it up. I literally looked in the aisles for this book for like 10 minutes and then I asked the employee if they had them and literally she went to go check and it was right in front of my face the whole entire time. It was so embarrassing, but we still got it. So I mean, that's the win. Just like with the rest of all these books I got, I've heard so much about this book. A lot of the YouTubers that I actually follow, they all recommend this book or say that it's one of their favorite books of all time. I'm pretty sure Haley Pham, this is like one of her favorite, favorite books. Don't quote me on that. Overall, a lot of the booktubers that I watch and even all over my bookstagram are raving about this book. I knew I had to get it. Once again, it is a romance, so hopefully I enjoy it, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so on the back it says, Liz Buxpin has always known that Wes Bennett was not boyfriend material. You would think that her next door neighbor would be a prime candidate for her romantic comedy fantasies, but Wes has only proven himself to be a pain in the butt. Ever since they were little, Wes was the kid who put a frog in her Barbie dream house, the monster who had a lawn gnome's severed head in her little homemade neighborhood book exchange. Flash forward 10 years from the great gnome decapitation, it's Liz's senior year, a time meant to be rife with the milestones perfect for any big screen, and she needs Wes's help. See, Liz's forever crush, Michael, has just moved back to town, and horribly, annoyingly, he's hitting it off with Wes, meaning that if Liz wants Michael to finally notice her and hopefully be her prom date, she needs Wes. He's her in. But as Liz and Wes scheme to get Liz her magical prom moment, she's shocked to discover that she actually likes being around Wes, and they continue to grow closer. She must re-examine everything she thought she knew about love and rethink her own perception of what happily ever after should really look like. Jeez. So many good books. I'm gonna turn my car on. Hold on. Let's the windows gotta go down. <sighs> And yeah, those are the three books that I got book shopping. I am so excited to dive into every single one of these and stay tuned for the video that I have for these books. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have read any of these books or if you want to read any of these books because I'm interested to see your guys' opinions and see your thoughts on these books if you did read any of them so then I can get a little inside knowledge i think that's about it thank you so much for spending the time with me to go book shopping i had an amazing wonderful time and i hope you guys did too with that being said i'm going to end the video off right here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you subscribe like and comment and make sure you turn that post bell notification on so you get notified every single time i upload a new video i hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful day and i will see you next time Bye.